We also have, as Siva said, over 400 members from the media. Um, that, by comparison, was only 100 or so in our last Congress. So it does show the interest in this particular Congress. It shows, I think, that South Africa is expecting something very dramatic to happen in 2024, and therefore this Congress is important for that reason. And we even have media from England and France. So our Congress will consist of just, just under 2,000 delegates. They will be made up, as I said, 45% of those delegates will be delegates from our branches, our activists, that are elected to represent their particular area and be here. There will be around about 1,000 councillors that will be here as well as a result of their own internal council elections, obviously MPs and MPLs. There will be a sizable delegation from every province. Every province is well represented. And we will be looking to deliberate and vote on resolutions that add a bit of content to our policy conference resolutions that we took a couple of years ago. And that will include resolutions on building the economy, creating jobs, urban and rural safety, and indeed the restoration of parliament in South Africa. So we'll also, over the next couple of days, we'll be voting on 43 different resolutions. We'll be seeking to drive the DA's policy agenda and give practical expression to our values of freedom, fairness, diversity, and opportunity. Most of the resolutions that you'll see will talk to the need to build on and extend our policy offer for creating an inclusive society in our country. Um, it will give, I think, a very clear steer as to where the areas of exclusion are and how we will focus on them and address them. What we are going to be using on Sunday um, to conduct our leadership as elections is a system called OPAVOTE. It is an electronic uh, voting system which confers a number of advantages. First of all, it's very fast. The um, possibility of human error on a manual system when you have to capture 21,050 entries, because that's the number of entries we will have when you take into account all the elections we have. Manually trying to capture and count all of that, human error will creep in after tiredness, after many hours. This will be done literally in seconds. So we use OPAVOTE, and we have been using OPAVOTE for the last three or four years. We've used it in previous federal congresses. We've used it as recently as in the Eastern Cape um, at a provincial congress. It's been used in other congresses. And indeed, it's been used in various caucuses around the country to conduct elections, including the city of Johannesburg. So we believe it's a proven system within the DA. It's been used for a number of years, as I said. In all those years, we have never once had a query or dispute about the integrity of the system and the secrecy of the ballot. Before we even began to use Oprah Vote in 2020, we were in contact with the CEO of that particular um, company, and we received sufficiently um, solid reassurances that none of the issues that might plague other systems actually could be found in OPA vote. And that's why the Democratic Alliance moved on to OPA vote.